thank you. A woman who was beaten up by a man now accused in a double homicide case in Green Bay takes the stand today. Jurors also heard 49-year-old Richard Saka tell police in his own words what happened inside the duplex on LK Lane in January of 2023. Rhonda Sigelski and Paula O'Connor were found dead there. Saka is facing several felonies, including two counts of first-degree intentional homicide. Brittany Schmidt joins us in the newsroom to walk us through this big day of testimony today. Brittany. Kim and Bill, the jurors listened to an hour of Saka's interview with police. Without much prompting, Saka begins telling investigators what happened. He says he just finished moving into the duplex with his girlfriend, Rhonda Sigelski. Saka says they were having a good night and had some drinks, and Sigelski's friend, best friend, Paula O'Connor, cut his hair. Saka says after he showered, he saw the women together and became jealous and felt humiliated by them. He says Sigelski yelled at him to leave and he, quote, snapped. He also admitted to police this has happened before. 22 years ago, he beat up a woman in Marinette County and was convicted of the crime. 21 years ago, I snapped in the same thing. Okay. And the stuff that happened with her, it's the same thing. I snapped. And I heard her, and I heard her bad. And that... Did that come back a little bit after a while? Are you remembering it more? Or? No, okay. not enough. That victim took the stand today. She says when they got home from drinking at a bar, Saka bumped a glass of water she was drinking and it knocked out her fake tooth. The next thing she remembers is being pushed to the ground by Satka, losing consciousness, and waking up in the bathtub with the water running. She says Saka hit her in the face several times and shattered her ankle. When Saka left, she told the jury she made her escape. I crawled. Why, why did you have to crawl? I, my ankle was shattered. Um, then I went to the front of the house, and uh, that was under construction or something. There was some insulation in front of the door. And I crawled out of there and uh, down the porch. And then I started screaming all the way crawling to the neighbor's house and pounding on their door. And the lady answered and she called the police and I laid there waiting for the police to come. Testimony continues next week where we expect to learn if Sotka will take the stand in his own defense. Bill.